Hey everybody! How are you today? Today we are gonna do a compare video of my recent authentic beautiful medium Mormont bag in red silk. Yeah, it's silk. And I think part of it is satin. I know internally it's satin, but it's mainly silk. And my evil twin bag. Let's just stop up. My evil twin love Gucci Marmont velvet bag. We are gonna do a comparison of these two today. I know, exciting, right? I think it's exciting. Not more exciting than that odd orb. Um, I don't know if you guys are into ghosts, but last night around 8.55, our ring on our house, we have this, it's called ring. It's basically a web camera, it has a web camera and it's also our doorbell. And it tells us when someone's here and when someone's not. It tells us when I'm getting a package. Anyway, last night, it motion detected a weird little orb thing. Which my family says is something like dust or something, but no, it's weird. Look! Anyway, we are doing a comparison video of these two lovelies. And let's just get into it. Okay, so the left is the evil twin and the right is the authentic. And they have their dust bags with them. I am not gonna include the box for this comparison. I am, however, going to measure them with my weight, my little weight thing my husband gave me. And we are going to, we're gonna weigh them and then we're gonna measure them with my measuring tape. So let's get started. Okay, weighing time. Let's start with the evil twin. She weighs one pound and 8.6, 8.5 ounces. Okay, now the beautiful authentic. The different material though, people, just keep that in mind. She's silk and the other one's velvet, pearls. So this one weighs, wow, one pound and 13.1 ounces. Let's look at their dust, dust bag. Okay, so the authentic dust bag, the authentic dust bag is the pink one. She does include a drawstring here on each end. And when you turn her inside out, look for the tag. And they should have dust bags, Gucci dust bags, say made in Italy and look like this. Okay, so that is the authentic dust bag. And this is the replica dust bag. It's kind of a little messy here, but they have it right where the corners are the only things that work. The corners are the only things that are sewn down, but it's a little messy. They do have the fabric correct. However, oh, it's also a drawstring. So here's the drawstrings. The authentic is the one to the right, your right. And this is the uh, um, replica evil twin. So you can see it's a little different. The replica kind of looks prettier. <laughs> anyway. So let's get to the inside of this dust bag. So as you can see, the replica dust bag, evil twin dust bag, does not have like a tag. And it is satin. Okay, so we cleared off the dust bags. Now for the measurements. Let us start off with the authentic. Okay. Her drops, I mean the double drop. This looks like dead on 12 inches. There's a 12 inches single. Single chain drop is 20 inches. Let's let's um measure her length. Approximately about 12 inches in length. 
perfectly three inches in width. You can see that. And then the height, okay, move the fur. Her height is about almost eight inches long, or about that. Okay, now let's measure Mrs. Replica or Mrs. Evil Twin here. Okay, let's measure her drop. So for this bag, the drop is 20 inches, the single drop. So doubled is 11 and a half inches, almost 12 inches. Okay, her, wow, the cat here is just going all over the velvet. Her, she's about one foot, so that's right. Her height, wow, that's pretty accurate. Almost eight inches like the other one. And then her width is, wow, three inches. Now this is, this is definitely a top quality evil twin. Now let's, let's compare the double G and see how they look together. Whoa, this is becoming a mess, a disaster. So if you could see the authentic is the satin red and then evil twin is, is this one, the loved. Now they're pretty dead on. I mean, there's a slight color difference. Oh, let's put that down. There's a slight color difference with this. It's a little bit, um, a little bit more yellow. I want to say, where this one is. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if you can see. It's very, very, pretty much really close. But if like I'm picky and I can see a very, very slight, very slight yellow tint. See that. Okay, let's measure the G's. Her G's are about two inches, two and a half inches. And the length is about three inches in a bit. Okay, hers is about also three inches in a bit. Let's see that. It is about the inches of it. And her length is about almost two and a half inches. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's get into the chain. The chain. If you can see the one on the right is the authentic and the one on the left is the, the uh, evil twin. I don't know if you can see the difference, but in person, of course, this one, the replica is pretty, a little bit yellower. Where the, the authentic to the right has a more like a duller look, I wanna say. It's not as like, okay, bottom is authentic, top is rep. Can you see a difference? I can, even with the links. It's very interesting. Let me flip this over. There, that's a better view. Bottom is authentic, top is rep. See it with the light on? Okay, now I have the face light on. The very bright, that's light. So the one to the the one to the right, authentic, and one to the left, evil twin. The shaky one. Oh god, they're shaky. You can see the yellower in the evil twin. You can see the yellow. Right? Okay. Let us get to the leather while we're doing this. So here is the D-ring. Authentic is red, as you know. And then the replica is the black one. 
Oh, so she's shorter and she's longer. You can see that. Let's see. This one is just a little bit over an inch. So an inch and an eighth. This one is an inch and almost an inch and a half. Actually, we should measure this strap. This strap, the other strap is 18 and a half inches long. And the authentic strap. Is stretching it. Oh, she's a little longer. She's 18, a little bit over 18 and a half. Interesting. Now the hardware. So it is yellower. I guess that's how it's a giveaway. And she is higher than the authentic. You can see that. If you're picky like me, that's you'll notice a lot of little things like this. You can see the stitching. The stitch is on the red, and I don't know if because it's the color, but the stitching on the red seems thicker, the threading, where this one looks thinner. If you really look at it. I don't know if you can see you can see the stitching. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like the thread on the red one seems thicker and puffier than the black. Okay, let's get into her little loophole hardware. See that? Again, this is coming off a little more yellower while the authentic is a little always more faded. Let's see that. This one's authentic, this one is the rep. You can see that? I can see it. Let us measure these parts. Okay, from of the end of the heart to this, about three inches. See that? And her, from her end, it's about three inches. Her width, I'm going to the last stitch, last stitch here, which is about three and a half inches. Three and a half inches, wow. Three. Pretty good. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the, now we can have a better view of the stitching and the counts. I'm seeing from here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the heart starts. From the top with this, the evil twin, one, two, three, four, five, and up here, one, two, three, four, five. Man, it's pretty accurate. So let's come from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a little, so that's ten chevron stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay, that's crazy. So let's start here, one, two, three, four, five, and six on the top. One, two, three, four. Oh, she only has five. Right? Yeah. So there's there should be another chevron like stitching here which she doesn't have. Okay. And this is about right because there's a little tiny like a triangle up here. That's right. She should have had more uh, one more little stitch right there. Well, according to this one, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be super the same. All the mediums the same. They are different models. They're not the same model. So forgive the hair. And what else? Okay, so let's do the satin. Oh, let's do these. Okay, V, lock closure. It's about accurate. So let's go to V. It's a little difference. It's like a little, the authentic has a little bubble where they other one is kind of inverted. See the bubble? Ugh. It's a different shape. Wow, I didn't realize that. The authentic? It's a different but shape. You can see that the 
font is pretty good. Oh my god, it's so freaking weird. It's pretty good. This is, this is, I would have a hard time if I'm, I'm an authenticity person. If they have the codes right, then I would be. You can look online, the codes. That's typically what I, one thing I do when I am shopping pre loved is you look at the codes because these codes sometimes are not the same. When you look online, they show a different bag. And I haven't done them with this. I'm going to show it now. I don't know if it's because of the model, but this actually is darker. And it goes all the way up. You notice that? This one doesn't go all the way up. That's an interior. You can tell that you know, they're different models, right? So I don't have the same exact model. This one is darker and this one is um, lighter and has a stain. I don't know if that was when I used it. I only used this like a couple times, so I don't think that's me. But So if you touch the satin on the authentic, you can feel that this is a little more papery, but they're pretty much almost very close. But you could also see the quality if you look. like how this looks and how the fabric looks, it's really it's kind of different. The pocket for this authentic, it is about three and a half inches where the fake or the evil twin is about four inches. So that's, this is shorter. And then you can see that the, they both, wow, they both have the triangle. And that's three stitches and that's three stitches. So the, the height of the pockets are different. The authentic is shorter, and then the replica is is longer. So lengthwise, seven inches. This is seven and a half, a little bit over a half inch. Oh. So the tags are in the right location. Um, however, this is the authentic to the left and the evil twin here, you can see that the authentic one is a duller in color. It's not as white as uh, the evil twin. I also wanted to show how she stands. She is stuffed now with a pillow and she stands tall with this little piece is kind of, it's kind of low, but it's still lifted where the evil twin she's a little bit too evil even when you go like this sitting way low where it should be kind of like that yeah so although she's sitting with some authentics like that's authentic this is authentic the whole top row are my off all my authentics are up there and i got Authentics back there. Anyway, it's not the point. If you see, it's not as low as her. Isn't that weird? But this is her new home. That is her new home. And I close it up. Like so, there she sits. Up on top! If you like these kind of videos where I unbox authentic items, evil twin items, I DIY, I do comparisons, I love style first because it's unique. Fashion is just like the paint. And style is how you put it all together, right? Well, that's how I feel about it. To me, it's art. And this is my art collection, basically. So, please subscribe and like. And thank you everybody for watching and talk to you soon. I got more exciting stuff coming. Um, one will come faster than the other. I got two authentic things and a couple of stuff that are evil twins and they are stuck. It's so sad. They're so stuck. When am I going to get them? Anyway, bye.